The Nasdaq stock market is a U.S. electronic exchange that allows investors to trade stocks over a fast and open computer network. In 1971, the National Association of Securities Dealers Automated Quotations, NASDAQ, was established as a new method of trading. It was intended to replace the traditional method of trading in person with ticker tape, which the National Association of Security Dealers deemed slow and inconvenient for investors. It was a miracle to be able to press a button and see on the screen everyone's current bids and offers from all over the country. It was cutting edge at the time and a huge step forward. Going from over the counter to over the computer was a thrilling once in a lifetime experience, even in its early stages. Historical records show that NASDAQ set up one of the first data centers for trading. This center had tape drives and monochrome cathode tube screens. NASDAQ hired the Bunker Ramo Corporation in Trumbull, Connecticut to design a system that would let market makers in OTC stocks update their bids or ask quotes electronically. On February 8, 1971, that system went into use. Since then, the world's first screen-based exchange has grown to be on par with the New York Stock Exchange in terms of average number of trades that happen each day. NASDAQ is likely the most active place to trade stocks online in the entire world. The NASDAQ exchange now trades stocks for over 3,300 different companies. It's the second largest stock exchange and the largest electronic stock market in terms of the value of securities traded. Companies from a wide range of industries can be found on the exchange, including capital goods, consumer durables, energy, finance, healthcare, public utilities, technology, and transportation. However, because technology companies account for 53.6% of the index, it's best known for its high-tech stocks. The remaining 46.4% is split between consumer services and healthcare. A company must meet certain financial requirements to be listed on the NASDAQ, such as having a minimum stock price of $1 and a total stock value of at least $1.1 million. Small businesses that do not meet these requirements can be listed on the NASDAQ small caps market. The NASDAQ may transfer a company to a different market if its eligibility changes. The NASDAQ 100 index is comprised of the top 100 non-financial companies listed on the NASDAQ. However, not all large corporations are represented. For example, over a three-month period, the average number of shares that can be traded per day is limited to 200,000. This is done to ensure that the NASDAQ 100 stocks are liquid and that small trades don't cause large price changes. The NASDAQ 100 is a weighted index, which means that the index's value is influenced more by the size of the companies in it than by their size. If you want to learn about some of the largest and most innovative companies on the market, the NASDAQ 100 Index is a good place to start. A wide range of industries and companies can provide cutting-edge technologies, services, and drugs will all be traded right there. These are Interesting Things with J.C.